good afternoon everyone you are welcome to economics online class we are discussing the ninth chapter fiscal economics in the last class we have seen public revenue meaning classifications of public revenue tax revenue and non tax revenue similarities and dissimilarities canon of taxation so we discussed today we have to see the direct tax and indirect tax and merits of direct tax and indirect tax what is direct tax a direct tax is referred to as a tax levied on person's income and wealth and is paid directly to the government it is direct tax so a person income and wealth depends upon the person's income and wealth they have to pay directly to the government this is called direct tax the burden of such tax cannot be shifted okay so the burden of the paying tax is not shifted to person to person so that such tax cannot be shifted the tax is progressive in nature so this is naturally they have to pay depends upon their income and wealth it is levied according to the paying capacity of the person we know that Uh, the canon of taxation isn't it the canon of ability certainty convenience the canon of economy so these are the points the government has to follow to levying taxes so that the tax is collected more from the rich and less from the poor people the plans and policies of the direct taxes are being recommended by the central board of direct taxes cbdt so the central board of direct taxes only recommended to paying taxes which is under the ministry of finance government of india so they are coming under the ministry of finance okay see here the difference between direct and indirect taxes given uh, through a picture see ultimate burden of tax payment in the direct tax and the indirect tax ultimate burden of tax payment the purchaser purchaser only going to pay instead of other person in direct tax responsibility to pay the tax by a person in the indirect tax responsibility to pay tax shopkeeper so instead of other person instead of consumer the shopkeeper has to pay example of uh, direct tax is income tax we can say income tax is a direct tax when you earn income you are responsible for paying tax okay tax payment and you also have the burden okay burden directly uh, going to experiencing by a person individual this is direct tax what about indirect tax we can say example gst when you buy uh, stuff any commodities and services the shopkeeper is responsible for tax payment instead of you the shopkeeper have to pay the tax payment but he can collect it from you as a price okay this is example of indirect tax then merits of direct tax what are the merits equity the direct taxes are progressive okay this is progressive gradually increasing direct tax the rate of tax uh, varies according to the tax base depends upon the tax base it it may be vary for example income tax uh, satisfies the canon of equity we know that the canon of equity equally distributed to all so that for example equity is the merit of direct tax certainty certainty depend by the canon of taxation the certainty can be ensured by the direct taxes for example an income tax payer knows when and at what rate he has to pay the income tax they know they will know about their tax uh, how much they have to pay at what rate of uh, payment they have to pay the certainty they should have elasticity direct tax also satisfies the canon of elasticity income tax is the income elastic in nature so that 
as income level increases the tax revenue to the government also increases gradually so this is elasticity depends upon the income increases the tax also will be increased the economy the cost of collection of direct taxes is relatively low the tax payers pay the tax directly to the state so this economy demerits of direct taxes what are the demerits unpopular the direct is not popular so the direct tax are generally unpopular it is inconvenient and less flexible by a person itself they have to pay so individually they have to pay means uh, that is burden okay we know that it is uh, direct tax is the burden to the taxpayer so that it is unpopular productivity affected through the direct tax the productivity may be affected so that according to the many economists the direct tax may adversely affect the productivity so we know that the increasing income depends upon the increasing income the level of tax also will be increased isn't it so that no one wish to increase their income because they have to pay increased tax that's why the citizen are not willing to earn more income because in that case they have to pay more taxes so that productivity will affect the next one is inconvenient so this is inconvenient one direct tax is inconvenient to the taxpayer so the taxpayer find it inconvenient to maintain accounts to submit returns and pay tax in lump sum okay these are the difficulties and uh, inconvenience to the taxpayer tax evasion so it may be happen the burden of direct tax is so heavy that taxpayers always try to evade taxes so that they try to evade the tax this ultimately leads to the generation of black money which is harmful to the economy so automatically the taxpayer uh, think to evade what will be happen it leads to generation of black money so this is not good to the economy so tax evasion will be there so these are the demerits of direct taxes then indirect tax what are the indirect tax indirect tax is the referred to as a tax charged on a person who purchases the goods and services and it is paid indirectly to the government when we are going to purchase any goods and services we can we cannot pay the taxes to the government indirectly so instead of us the shopkeeper only paid already to the government which is indirectly okay so we are paying indirectly through the shopkeeper so this is called indirect tax the burden of tax can be easily shifted to the another person so that uh, in the picture itself i said you know i explained about the indirect tax the burden shifted to another person it is levied on all person equally whether rich or poor so they should not consider about rich and poor equally levied on all person there are several types of indirect taxes such as excise duty sales tax custom duty entertainment tax service tax the first is excise duty payable by the manufacturer who shift the tax burden to retailers and wholesalers this is excise duty okay payable the manufacturer will be pay the tax which is shift to the uh, burden of the retailers and wholesalers instead of them the manufacturer will pay sales tax the sales tax paid by a shopkeeper or retailer who then shift the tax burden to the customer by charging sales tax on goods and services instead of the purchasing person which means consumer or customer the shopkeeper or the retailer who paying the tax is called the sales tax custom duty so import duties levied on goods from outside the country so importing goods ultimately paid for by consumers and retailers so this is custom duty import 
uh, every commodities so the import duties levied on the goods from the outside country that and all ultimately paid by the consumer as well as the retailer entertainment tax what is that liability is on the cinema theater owner who transfer the burden to the cinema goers so those who are going to uh, watching the cinema they want to pay tax that tax is a entertainment tax so that the liability is on the cinema theater owner who transfer the burden of the cinema goers so these are the uh, indirect tax and also the service tax is there what is service tax charges on service uh, taxes like telephone bill insurance premium such as food bill in a restaurant etc these are the service tax collected okay for the services they are uh, paying taxes this is called service tax this is also one of the indirect tax so let's uh, see the merits and demerits of the indirect taxes first you have to move that merits of indirect tax wider coverage so the merits of indirect tax is wider coverage all the consumers whether they are rich and poor they to pay indirect taxes for this reason it is said to that indirect taxes can cover more people than direct taxes this is wider range okay than the direct taxes the wider range it has for example in india everybody pays indirect tax as against just 2% paying income tax so this is the example for indirect tax equitable this is also equitable in indirect tax it can satisfy the canon of equity when higher tax is imposed on luxuries used by the rich people so the luxury uh, means a diamond uh, jewelries and any luxurious goods and services used by the rich people so the it satisfy the canon of equity it is economical cost of collection is less as producers and retailer collect tax and pay to the government so here not like direct tax uh, the stops and all not hired here the purchasers instead of purchaser the producers and the retailers has to pay all the taxes instead of the purchaser and they have to pay to the government so that here uh, no stops to collect specially here the traders act as honorary tax collectors okay here the ta- traders only acting as a honorary tax collector check harmful consumption it can check harmful consumption for example tobacco liquor etc the government imposes indirect taxes on those commodities which are harmful to the health of the consumer so they known as sin taxes these are all sin taxes they can say convenient indirect taxes are levied on commodities and services so whenever consumer make purchase they pay tax along with the prices yes gst like that so they do not pay, feel the pinch of paying tax so that it is very very convenient to the purchaser they cannot feel about the paying tax because already the producer or the retailer paid by paid to the government okay so that so this tax is convenient to the purchaser what about demerits of indirect tax so demerits of indirect tax the first point is higher cost of collection so the cost of collection of indirect taxes is higher than the direct taxes the government has to spend huge money to collect indirect taxes here they saying uh, for collecting indirect taxes the government uh, spend huge money so that this is higher cost of collection this is inelastic indirect taxes are less elastic compared to direct taxes as indirect taxes are generally proportional so the various taxes coming under this topic the indirect taxes 
so that this is inelastic it cannot elastic it's regressive indirect taxes are sometimes uh, unjust and regressive in nature since both rich and poor person have to pay same amount as taxes irrespective of their income level whether they have uh, huge income or low income they have to pay the equally to the government so the uh, indirect taxes are unjust and regressive in nature so rich and poor both are going to pay indirectly the same level of tax this is regressive and certainty the raise in indirect taxes increase the price and reduces reduces the demand for the goods and services therefore the government is uncertain about the expected revenue collection so the raise in indirect taxes increase the price it will leads to increase the price and reduces the demand from the uh, consumer side so the uncertainty will be there so sudden of us uh, the government increases the indirect tax means it will be happen so the government is uncertain about the expected revenue collection so dalton says under indirect taxes 2 plus 2 is not 4 but 3 or even less than 3 okay so we cannot expect 2 plus 2 the 4 only will be there we cannot expect maybe 3 also will be there or less than 3 also will be there so uncertainty will happen no civic conscious consciousness as the tax is hidden in price the consumer are not aware of paying tax because they don't know the consumer directly not going to pay so that the hidden in price along with the price the taxes also levied um, bringing so that the consumer are not aware of the paying taxes here so that this is no civic consciousness so these are the concept today we completed what are the concept tax direct tax and indirect tax okay and merits of direct tax and indirect tax and demerits of direct tax and indirect tax everything we completed today you go through the concept and understand the concept well and you have to prepare for weekly test